So, uh, having been accepted uh, at Cambridge, um, because uh, I was interested in history, I, against my parents' uh, wishes, uh, decided to uh, do the part one of the tripos in history and, and not in law, which is what they were expecting me to do. Um, by the time that I graduated, uh, I was no longer interested <laughs> in going in the family business. Uh, and I'd become interested in international law. And in fact, I did an LLB uh, in international law. And because I realised, look, uh, looking at the literature, that there was very little on Italy, and that Italy was, uh, how can I say, uh, could be treated in the same way as the electoral studies in France. The reason uh, that I chose Naples was quite simply that uh, I had a knowledge of Naples from having um, done a year's assistantship in as a Neapolitan school. Whereas I think that Christopher Sisson Watson gave me an introduction to Rossidori, because I think Rossidori had been in England uh, for two reasons. One, I think he'd been invited to Oxford. He may have even have an honorary degree from, uh, given to him from Oxford, particularly for his role in um, the land reform, which the English government uh, um, supported and, in fact, encouraged and pushed as much as it could. I think it was of the Allied government, uh, uh, governments who were, uh, who were in Italy at the time, the one that was anxious about uh, land reform. Rossi Doria, uh, among other things, was a great friend of Francesco Compagni, the director of Nordi Sud. And in fact, if you look at those numbers, uh, quite a number of articles, I think uh, Compagni was a great admirer of Rossi Doria and his work. Chronica Meridionale was the <laughs> communist magazine. In fact, this is a slight anecdote, Nordi Sud was set up because of Kronke Mojanali. In other words, because the, uh, if you like, uh, uh, progressive left-wing people who weren't communists, uh, like Compagna, felt that it was necessary to uh, uh, not permit uh, the communists through Kronke Mojanali to have the monopoly of uh, um, intellectual opinion in Naples. And in fact, Compagna made the offices of Nordi Sud available to me and I could go and consult the library because... Uh, and published your material. And, and yes, and he published some articles. I mean, it was suggested, for example, I did a number of articles at the time um, on electoral studies because of my experience uh, studies in Sciences Po. So I, you know, so I did, well, applied French uh, methods to Italian. Uh, and this was particularly easy because um, the er electoral results in Italy are published at a much more microscopic level than they are in France. In France, uh, it's difficult to get communal things. You, it's generally at the late of the, uh, the the level of the. Well, the French have always been very bad at publishing their statistics. No, but I'm thinking it's uh, the Conseil General. What's the the, the, no, the uh, circonscription? The circonscription, the, the Conseil General, which mm -hmm. is much which commun probably puts five, five, ten communes together, whereas in Italy, uh, it was single communes. Um, naturally, uh, there was a certain amount of reticence among politicians, and particularly. On the right, it was the moment of the high summer uh, of the monarchist movement in Naples, and so, uh, and I, in a sense, <laughs> was not openly, but I was considered to be associated uh, uh, with the, if you like, what one could today call the democratic, but we left-wing parties, in a sense, you know. Uh, in fact, my major friends were uh, communists and, and socialists. Um, Napolitano. Napolitano, but also um, the filmmaker um, uh, uh, Francesco Rosi. Uh, Francesco Rosi was not, not. Was he considered left wing? No, uh, Galasso, uh, of course, uh, is important because Compagna and Galasso were what we would call today called centre. Or I think in those days considered centre left, uh, given the right wing orientation, particularly in Naples, they were very anti monarchist. Um, and uh, although the book on, on Naples had been written two years, had been given to the publishers two years earlier, it was held up for almost two years uh, with threats of uh, libel and so on. And uh, um, Cambridge University Press were getting a bit worried. Mm. They had it read by all sorts of, and I remember going and talking to, to, to libel lawyers uh, in London. <laughs> they sent me to see various. Uh, yeah. Are you accusing what, what, what particular aspects of the book? Well, I suppose that uh, the, 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 the clientelism. Well, clientelism itself is not a crime. 
No, but uh, <laughs> the system it is. You know. right. In other words, uh, it presumes that people were uh, paid and so on, you know, to vote or to support, you know, that there was financial in, uh, incentives and so Especially on. Especially the preference vote. Yeah, above all the preference vote. Uh, in the book, there's, uh, uh, the, I'd say the first, but if not the first, almost the first a study uh, of the, uh, the preference vote in any detail on a geographical, you know, looking at the areas where the, 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 the various politicians, you know, which, which series of communes and so on uh, got their vote. I mean, there have been studies of, of the preference vote uh, 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 as a general thing, but there hadn't been any geographical studies of the, of the preference vote previously. They couldn't understand how a, a foreigner, I mean, if, there, if no Italian had done it, how come a foreigner. I think what worried them, I mean, there are two things. One is that academic books are generally not widely read. Uh, uh, but they thought that because this was an academic book, it would cause more trouble than if it had been, a, you know, a, a pot boiler or a, a series of articles in the, in the newspaper. Uh, so I think that this is, and also I think because it published by Cambridge University Press, now you had a sort of, there was a, a certain deference to, because of the whole post-war period and the role that uh, England had played in the, 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 the development of Italy that, you know, uh, and that this could have in inverted commas, uh, political consequence, you know. Uh, I mean, I was treated as a, uh, as a communist by the, oh, yes. the right-wing press, yes. you know, because I mean, it was thought that, and, I, and there wasn't, uh, it, there was some truth in this sense, because the people who were most helpful to me were, in fact, either communists or on the left. Uh, I had great difficulty in interviewing uh, right-wing people. Uh, they just didn't want to know. Well, you know. I think what happens was that she saw the, uh, uh, the book in, in a bookshop yes. in England. So she writes this. Ti racconto una storia italiana come fosse ti divertirà. La stampa ha pubblicato giovedì scorso la, meta che ho, uh, la nota che ho scritto sul tuo libro. 24 ore dopo sono stato invitata da Gava a fare con lui una, be una bella chiacchierata. Ha subito detto di, uh, di av uh, avermi voluto vedere per chiedere, uh, chiedermi quale fosse la fonte delle notizie del tuo libro. Ho ri risposto naturalmente che la fonte era l'autore stesso. Non riusciva a capire, ha detto, come uno storico potesse scrivere un libro del genere senza rivolgersi a me, appoggiarsi a me, venire da me, intervistarmi. Ho risposto che un storico non è un giornalista, che probabilmente tu avevi preferito lavorare su documenti. Ma per la storia contemporanea, ha esclamato, molto desolato, anche il protagonista vivente è un documento. Ha fatto numerose, numerose domande per cercare di scoprire cosa dicesse di lui il tuo libro. Gli ho risposto di non sapere nulla di più di quanto ne avevo scritto. Ha confessato di essere molto sconcertato e molto incuriosito di leggere quest'opera. Poi, come distrattamente, ha cominciato a parlare delle querele co mosse contro l'espresso e l'unità. Si è detto indispettito di non aver potuto querelare il mondo, che nel suo articolo aveva sempre fatto riferimento al libro della Maciocchi, citando quello. Gava ha già chiesto alla Camera l'autorizzazione a procedere contro la Maciocchi per calunnia, ma la richiesta è stata rispin rispinto e così non può fare nulla. Uh, fare nulla. Non ti scrivere queste cose per l'amarti, ma solo per divertirti e per confermarti che avevi ragione. Sono già tutti spaventati e questo significa che il tuo libro sarà utile, oltre che buono e ben fatto come credo. Molte persone me ne hanno chiesto, tra l'altro Antonio Ghirelli, eh, Ghirelli, che sta pure lui scrivendo un libro romanzo su Napoli nel dopoguerra e i consulenti per la saggistica di Mondadori e Feltrinelli. Se hai bisogno di qualcosa, il mio indirizzo a Roma è eccetera eccetera. Oh, C'è un, uh, un PS. Gava ha detto anche di non averti mai sentito nominare a Napoli, non ci credo molto personalmente, <ride> e ha fatto uh, um, uh, l'ipotesi che tu sia uh, 
di discendenza slavo-germanica a causa del cognome. Come vedi, lo interessi. I stayed in Reading until uh, uh, 1996, which was almost the end of my university career in England, and I was offered this opportunity um, to continue um, in Naples, and since I owed my uh, university career in some ways to Naples, in the sense of the studies that I'd done on Naples, um, and uh, a change of scenery <laughs> is often a good thing, so uh, um, I was happy to accept it. What would you say you learned from the Italians? How to live. <laughs>